Lots of people want to understand the Bible better. But after starting a reading plan, they give up when they hit Leviticus or Isaiah and they never make it all the way through. So how can you build a better foundation of biblical stories? So in this video, I'll give you three reasons you should use a kid's Bible to pack years worth of learning into a few short weeks. Look, some dudes haven't grown up in the church or don't remember most of the stories they learned in Sunday school. So when they are hungry to understand the Bible, they start a Bible reading challenge where they open their Bible up to Genesis and get started, only to give up after they hit a boring stretch of the Bible. And there are a few of them, aren't there? I mean, let's be real, the prophets are an acquired taste. So one day I was having a beer with a pastor buddy and he was telling me about helping uh, a guy learn the Bible. He was teaching this guy and, and he said something like, to this guy that's learning, he says, remember how Abraham was promised by God? And the guy just kind of looks at him blankly and he's like, no, I don't. And my pastor buddy said, you know, I almost want to hand him Kevin DeYoung's children's Bible. And I thought, why not? In fact, I've learned a ton about the Bible from reading a storybook Bible to my kids at night. Number one, it covers most of the major stories in the Bible. Almost any storybook Bible is going to cover a major chunk of the Bible's important stories and it's gonna cover at least some of the important points of those stories. So you get a general idea of what they're about. Number two, you can read the story so fast. Seriously, when you think about it, I went over a Bible story a week in Sunday school from when I was about five years old until I was 10. That's like five years of reading and learning. And you can pack all that into a week or two by leisurely reading through a storybook Bible. And number three, kids' Bibles are made to tell the stories memorably to help kids and dudes who didn't grow up in the church to remember them. Yeah, there are a few things to watch out for with kids' Bibles. So yeah, they can be oversimplified. So you wanna watch out for some of that when they push the moral of the story type of narrative. Um, instead, they should be showing you how the story points to Jesus or what theological truth or doctrine is being pointed out or illustrated, but they don't always do that. Uh, one example is the story of Samson. Often kids' Bibles leave out the fact that he was visiting a prostitute in Gaza. Shocking, right? Or you have David and Goliath. They make it about David facing his challenges with God's help. But the story's actually about a giant that the people of God could not face on their own. And so David is sent in their place. And that's exactly like Jesus was sent to rescue us from sin. So you see, the story of David's actually pointing us to Christ. And because of that, not all Bibles are created equal. I think Kevin DeYoung's The Greatest Story Storybook Bible is one of the best ones out there. Not only does it tell a bunch of stories others don't, but the author does a great job of pointing out how the stories point to Jesus and tie into the rest of the Bible. It's especially good for adults trying to build a solid base of knowledge about the biblical stories. Zondervan's Kids Bible is okay, but it's very simplified. It's called The Beginner's Bible. And this is actually the one I would least recommend, but it's on here because I already had it. And I assume some other Christian families with kids might already have one, so it might be just a good place to start. There's another one called The Complete Illustrated Children's Bible by Janice Emerson, which is really good. It tells a ton of biblical stories and it has great illustrations. That one's a good one to read with the kids, especially. But if you wanna use them to their full potential, then it's really a super easy strategy. You just read it. After you've read it, you can go back through and look up the scripture references in your grown-up Bible and read them again in their entirety. That's it. If you have kids, it's a great idea to read them to your kids at the dinner table or before bed and talk with them a little bit about it. If you do, it'll just reinforce the stories even more. I think we completely underestimate how important knowing the stories are, and not just the stories about Jesus, but all of the stories in the Bible, to getting a complete picture of who God is and why he deserves to be glorified and loved by us. And we definitely don't respect why we should obey God. Following his commands is how we show him love, and he tells us how to do that in the Bible. So it comes full circle. So if you want to see how I integrate this into a plan to read the entire Bible, then check out this video next. I give you three goals to read through the entire Bible. If you want to build into reading the, the whole thing, then subscribe to my channel. Head on over and check out the milestones that you can use to continue to build your biblical worldview as you read through the Bible and build your understanding of how even the boring sections that kind of trip us up fit into God's redemptive plan for us and the entire created order.